Hey, what's happening, YouTube? This is Runner from bellatogero.com. Not arrogant, just better. Just gonna give my pre-fight predictions on UFC 123, Rampage Jackson versus Leo the Dragon Machida. Um, this is gonna be a pretty good card, and it's got a, quite a few good fighters on it. But I think this fight uh, between Leo Machida and Rampage Jackson um, should have been brought forward to UFC 120 and been the main event on that because I think BJ Penn and Matt Hughes is a good enough main event on this card. But anyways, um, no worries. I'm going to start with the first fight on the main card which is George Sotoropoulos versus Joe Lozon. Uh, Joe Lozon is coming off a win. Um, he, had, he had a long layoff after the Sam Stout fight um, and basically Joe Lozon came into that fight. He was ready to go. Don't know what was up with him. He had an adrenaline rush or summit but he was fired up and he just dominated the fight that he was fighting against really quick and just beat him up and submitted him nice and quick and George Sotoropoulos he's coming off a win over Kurt Pellegrino and um, Joe Stevenson uh, I didn't think he'd get past any of them two fighters but he impressed me against Joe Stevenson and Kurt Pellegrino he's the type of fighter who likes to hurt people and cut people up it's just like Kenny Florian kind of thing but um, yeah, no, I give Josh Sotoropoulos, Sotoropoulos the upper hand in every aspect of this fight. I think um, he's going to have the better ground game. I think he's got the better striking because his striking has improved and he's coming a long way. So I'm going to give this fight to Josh Sotoropoulos and I think he's going to get this fight finished in the second round via submission. And I think a few more fights, maybe one or two, he'll be fighting for the title properly. But I don't think... The other guys in the weight ca class, um, I don't think he'll get past them all. But I think George is a really good fighter and he's doing well for himself. So I'm going to go second round submission, George Sotoropoulos. In the light heavyweight division, we have Tim Bowes versus Phil Davis. Uh, Tim Bowes, he was meant to be fighting um, Thiago, Thiago Silva um, in his last fight, but he got injured and he had to fight some other wrestler and basically dominated him. I think if he'd fought Tim, um, Thiago Silva, Thiago Silva would have battered him and knocked him out probably in the first round. Um, Phil Davis, he's coming off, um, he's undefeated in fact, uh, so he's coming off a win over a very stacked um, light heavyweight who's very heavily muscled, who hasn't got much of a ground game. And Phil Davis, his game plan is always to take the guy to the ground and just beam up from there, go for decision or maybe a knockout just by dominance and that's how I see this fight going as well Phil Davis is going to take this fight he's going to be undefeated still and he's going to win by a decision in the middleweight division we have Gerald Havis versus Mikel Falco well I've never seen nothing of Falco um, this fighter from Brazil in the middleweight um, Gerald Gerald Harris. Um, I saw him in his last fight where he slammed um, the fight he was fighting. Can't remember his name, but don't really matter. But he slammed him, uh, knocked him out completely, and only because pff, there's nothing in this fight that I can say really because I've never heard of the other guy and I haven't seen much of Harris. And I'm just gonna go with Harris and he's gonna win by I don't know fucking first round knockout. Now we've got to see. Fuck it, decision. Yeah, decision. That's it. And now in the welterweight division we have BJ Penny Pen Pen versus Matt Hughes. Um, Matt, <laughs> BJ Penn is coming off a two fight loss and go against uh, Frankie Edgar. Everyone keeps going about our BJ Penn in his last six fights or last twelve fights. He's six and six. Well, BJ Penn's the type of fighter who. He's not bothered who he fights, he'll fight anybody. He's not bothered if they're heavier than him. He'll go in and fight, you know what I mean? He's not one of them fighters who want to stay in his weight class and just pit a patter around there. He, he's willing to step out of his weight class and fight people who are so much bigger than him because he likes a challenge. It's like fucking Tito Ortiz. He won't step out of the light heavyweight division. He could have fought uh, Fedor Emelianenko when he was away from the UFC, but he says, oh, if Fedor comes down to 120, or five, then I'll fight him. Well, fucking no, why don't you step up and go fight someone like that, you know what I mean? His career was on the way down anyway, and he was going to lose to Fedor because Fedor can beat anyone. And 
I don't know, it's just like, people like to criticise BJ Penn because he likes to step up and challenge himself, you know what I mean? But anyways, I'm going off course totally. Matt Hughes, I don't think his heart is in the game anymore. I know when he lost to Thiago Alves and lost to GSP, he fought Matt, Matt Serra. Um, Matt Serra, I think I fought, when I watched it, Matt Serra won that fight. And then he fought um, Renzo Gracie. Renzo Gracie, I think he was winning the first round and a half. And then after Hughes started landing the leg kicks, that's when he kicked into action. Um, just because Renzo Gracie wasn't conditioned like he should have been and took so many years out and then came back and thought, yeah, I can fight Matt Hughes or whatever. And he's just a silly fucking fight, basically. And he just kept on using the leg kicks and finished him off like that. And in the Ricardo Almeida fight, Matt Hughes was going to fight Ricardo Almeida's fight. He was going to stand up. He wasn't going to use his wrestling to counteract um, Ricardo Almeida's BJJ. And I just think it's... I just don't think Matt Hughes' his heart is in this fight game anymore. I know he's got a three-fight right, three win streak and he looks all right, but I still don't say that he's, his heart's in the game anymore. And that's just my opinion on things. Um, BJ Penn, um, I think he's going to have the better hands. Um, Hughes is going to have the strength advantage. BJ Penn's good off his back, but if Matt Hughes is smart, he'd use his wrestling to his advantage and try just do a GSP and just dominate him because he's definitely going to have the strength advantage because Matt Hughes is a strong, strong guy and he's an absolute beast for a welterweight. Oh, don't get me wrong, I want BJ to win, but I think in this fight Matt Hughes is going to take it. I know I said his heart's not in it, but I feel, still think he's going to beat BJ Penn and they'll probably give him a title shot after this. I don't think he deserves it, but I think they'll give him it anyway just because four fights in a row and he's a UFC legend, so I'm going to go with Matt Hughes and I think he's going to get this fight by a decision. If not, if not, I'm going to say BJ Penn second round submission. But fuck it. Throw two coins up, we'll see where they land. Happy days. No worries. And now to the main event, we have Quinton Rampage Jackson versus Lyoto the Dragon Machida. Uh, Rampage Jackson, he's coming off a loss against Rashad Evans. Um, he almost knocked him out in the last fight, and I so wanted him to knock out Rashad Evans because I just don't like the way he fights anymore. I used to like when he used to stand and bang with people, but now he's just a wrestler, scared to stand with people, and just takes them to the ground and gets the win. I don't think he's going to be able to do that to Shogun Hua, but anyways. Um, Lyoto Machida is coming off a loss against Shogun, and he suffered his first ever knockout, getting knocked out, and I don't know how he's going to come back from this fight. It's going to be interesting. I just think Rampage Jackson is going to be slower. He's going to be stronger, though. He's going to be slower. Um, I don't know how conditioned he's going to be. I think he's going to, he's going to not be as bad as he was in the last fight and working on his conditioning until like, right, pretty much near the end. Uh, Leon Machito is going to be quicker in this fight. Um, he's going to be more elusive with his striking. I don't think Rampage is quick enough to catch him. And whoa. Either way this fight goes, I see that uh, Leon Machito is going to win it. Rampage has got the better chin. Um, don't really know how much you can say about uh, Machita's chin, but when someone's on the, on the on the back and you punch him in the face, you're going to knock him out regardless. And yeah, I just don't think I'm going to go too deep into this fight. It's just that I think Rampage Jackson needs to decide what he wants to do in his career. Does he want to be an actor? Does he want to be a fighter? Which I'd say stay with fighting. But he, he is, his star is falling. He's like, it's on the descent now. And Leon Machita, he's still up there and in the mix still because I think he can beat any of these fighters pretty much, anyone at the top, except if he runs into Shogun, he needs to find a different sort of game plan to take him out, but Rampage, he starts falling, he's had his, his time at the top, and he should have fought Machita a long time ago when it was for the title, instead of faffing about and fucking wanting to do movies, but the fight now at UFC 123, which I think it should have been at 120 in the UK, but no worries and I'm going to go with Lyoto Machita and he's going to finish Rampage Jackson second round knockout and I think it's going to be pretty hard to knock out Rampage but 
I think he'll, alright, I'll say TKO, not knockout, TKO, because the referee's going to stop it, because he's going to take a lot of shots. If not, it's going to go to decision, and Rampage is not going to win, fight decision. Yeah, get on to you. Thumbs up. And that's it from me on my UFC predictions 123. Remember to subscribe, and if you've got a comment or a video that you want to reply with, um, post it below. Let me know what you think, and remember to check us out at bellatorgero.com. And this is me, Runner, signing out. Peace.